patch tree is here everyone for Baldur's Gate 3 and this might be the biggest patch the game will ever get and I think it is probably the most important patch for the game because the only two things that I know have been patched and the first thing is better optimization for Act 3 so 3 3 3 but yes of course I love this game right but Act 3 is very very laggy my PC can barely handle it so the first thing they promise right is that this patch tree here is going to fix a lot of issues in Act 3 so then there can be a huge, huge improvement uh, of the game, honestly, because that to me was like a, a minus point, like a massive minus point. Uh, secondly, I know it's going to be this mirror, right? So you can actually change appearance. That was late yesterday, so you can change after you create your character. Uh, I don't think you, you will be able to change like your race or whatever, but you can change your hair, you can change you know, your appearance or whatever, right? which is a large addition. But anyway, guys, my name is Mondo. If you like the video, subscribe. Slap button, right? So I'm a game developer, among other things. So. Hopefully this video here, I can give you both my input as a gamer, but also as a developer. So for example, you never, <laughs> okay, you never release on Fridays. <laughs> like, um, I have a lot of horror stories, right? Uh, getting a phone call from the CEO, you know, on Sunday or Saturday morning, being like, oh, everything is broken. Coming in on Monday and everything is burning, basically, right? So usually, and of course, this patch was supposed to be released yesterday. You very rarely do you want to release on Fridays because, of course, if anything actually doesn't work, right? Which might be mixed, then someone's gonna have to work over the weekend, right? Or have a lot of issues when they come in <laughs> on Monday morning. So usually you wanna, you don't, you don't wanna do like a pushing to the actual public uh, version on a Friday. That's usually a, a big no-no. But uh, they probably have some bugs or whatever yesterday. Anyway, let's start reading it. So it's gonna be like a long patch, right? Um, and I think we're gonna move slightly over here. Uh, yeah, then you can read the whole text, right? Okay, so uh, so this is new for me as well, right? A little bit reaction, I suppose, as well. Uh, we'll change the one, but yeah, yeah, we have max support. Uh, so here we go, Madden Mirror. So this is this was late yesterday. Um, exactly. So this I mean, is a nice addition, right? I don't think it changes the game that much, but like I said earlier, uh, the Magic Mirror still is a nice feature. Uh, when I play these games, I don't tend to change uh, a lot of stuff in different doubling games but I, I'm definitely gonna play it if I play like 10 hours right then I want to maybe change my hair you know maybe some slight changes right to my appearance so yeah I think it'd be nice uh, you can change most and I guess yeah, you can change voice so but yeah you can't change your exactly you cannot change your race or salary as expected right and I think that's great so that bad thing would be silly if you can play the whole game as, I don't know, Dwarf, Paladin, and suddenly, no, I'm actually a Tiefling Warrior now, now that would be silly. But yeah, you can change your class, basically, and you can change your appearance, but you cannot change your actual race. Um, I think that, that is good. I think it's silly if you can change everything. Um, that would be kind of weird, right? But that's basically the magic mirror. It's a, it's a nice, it's a, what I'm hoping for, guys, and I hope you're going to have that, maybe, is a party selector, right? If you see my video where I go over the 10 things I dislike in this game, that's one of my early things, right? I really hope that this patch, and again, hopefully, because I haven't seen more in the patch, right? Hopefully this patch will come with that um, so you can change party members easier. I would love to have, you know, a normal UI thing. Uh, you, enter your, you enter your camp and you can like, change party members. I don't have to go talk to them and be like, you know, please, Lasuel, can you please leave my party? No, I don't want to leave your party. I'm the main character. I, I just, just, just leave, you know, just leave the party right there. I don't want to have this stupid bullshit when they are so, um, it takes a lot of time to leave your party. Um, but here we go. What is the new auto highlights then? Uh, okay, so obviously spoil the video then, but yeah, yeah, so obviously spoil it. They're probably some boss fixes or whatever, right? So, okay, this will be a spoiler video, guys. If you haven't played the full game, now you know. Uh, so, Mad Mirror is the biggest thing. Yeah, so Casador is, of course, the vampire boss. I haven't spoiled it for you guys. Um, yeah, so he's the weaker to sunlight. Uh, I guess it's some kind of bug. This don't think better that much. It's like some minor fix on bosses or whatever. Um, looks like maybe the same from the poltergeist. This is interesting though, because it's a big thing in Act 2. When you have, uh, yeah, Spirit Guard against explosives one. Yeah, this is actually a pretty good fix. Yeah, this is a pretty good fix. Fixing the portal guys. This is something I definitely have noticed. Uh, so the portal guys, 
And also all the enemies too have to go in this of course. Uh, this is a common enemy in Act 2. And sometimes it, seem, it, it seems strange that you are like, if you're AOEing, if you have this, the spirit or, you know, and they kind of didn't reveal them. And I think the bug, so this is my guessing as a developer here, right? If I get the code here. The problem is probably, if I see it in my own games, is that it was probably a check. Uh, so like the code was probably like, if you move in, right? So if you move in with your guardian spirit and you enter the enemy, so you damage the enemy, right? Then they all revealed. That's probably how the code worked. Uh, and the bug was probably that, but if they stay right inside the aura, they stay inside the fire there, right? Uh, and then they get hidden again, they don't actually get revealed again the next time. So you have to actually like initiate the damage. So this is probably something bug like that. I've seen it in many games I've worked on where it's a difference between, you know, like the entering the, the fire and standing in the fire kind of thing. That would be my guess when I read this. Yeah, because I think they will, they will not turn into ball. Yeah, probably that. Yeah, I guess if they're like you know currently being revealed, they could hide against it. Uh, and also, yes, speaking, they shouldn't be able to hide inside a fire damage or whatever. That doesn't make sense. So it's probably some you know, some minor you know log logical fixes, right? Probably. Um, okay, nerfed sneak attack. Uh, I haven't played the PS5, so but I guess there was some uh, UI issue or something like that. So here is yeah here's the big thing that we come into later I guess I think that we're gonna have uh, more details further on but of course this is the biggest thing as I mentioned earlier that the lower city especially in Act Three but I would say generally but yeah Act Three has a lot of performance issues right uh, I I know personally massively uh, my PC is the newest I might buy a new PC now I think I'm buying a PC for Black Friday soon right so but yeah I really struggle with Act Three uh, certain areas and PS One. Um, okay, Dragonborn. That's actually that's actually some nasty sauce. Yeah, that Shadowheart bug. Something I noticed that yeah, she changed her hair later, and that actually is a weird if you have the hat and so on. Yeah, that's like the nice the bug fix of Shadowheart. Um, and there's some random bug fixes. Okay, here's a lot of bug fixes that from scripting. Uh, <laughs> that's a nice bug. You can trade with him in this. <laughs> he was shopping. You don't go into too much detail, but I'm just gonna click this, see if I see some funny bugs, guys. This I this I've seen a lot actually. People mentioning that uh, this bug I haven't mentioned me, but I've seen a lot of people talking about this bug. That damn one, which is a Carlax, like the he's a blacksmith. That he dies way too easy at the last light. So that's probably about that. Because I've seen people, a lot of people, a lot of people say that that yeah, they lose that character like super easily. Uh, didn't happen to me, but. Uh, let's forget about that. Mm, that's like a nice thing, yeah. Makes it slightly more worthwhile. This I like, it's a nice change. Some of the characters here refuses to use Volos. Yeah, I mean, I think it's better that you know some of the companions have different opinions about now I don't want to do these things. So, for example, these companions. Doesn't have you know they don't you pick them up later so you don't have the tadpole and so on yeah so that's a good thing doesn't make any sense that's clearly a bug <laughs> yeah so you can't have La Cell if you kill her okay that's a good bug yeah okay I've never done that but okay that makes sense okay um. Okay, here we go, more gameplay. The following spells not correctly break the sanctuary. This is good. This is definitely a good fix. Yeah, that's, you know, all these different things break sanctuary. Oh, this is a nice. See, this is a fix as you love. <laughs> as, a, as a game designer myself. Oh my, oh my god, what a great fix, okay? These fix I love, guys. I level up now, right? Because usually you level up, especially early game, right? All your four characters uh, usually up at the same time. And I hate that you have to click it four times a bit, yeah. I hate this stuff, you know, because I work with this. I've been a UX design director for a few years, a few years ago, and that stuff drives me crazy. You have to click like one, two. I hate that stuff. It should be like one click, you know, one click, all four characters, yeah. I hate that you have to go in and out, in and out. I want to have a task, I can be in one party, right? Like I want to have one character, then do the next character immediately. I don't, ha I don't, I don't have to go like outside the menu, into a new menu, right? Stuff like this, I think. The game definitely lags, and again, I hope that they're gonna have that part set, but I haven't mentioned it. But I really hope this is a part of that 
that has a departed UI pretty bad in the game, and this is another thing here. Yeah, I want to have a party selector, but this is a good start of it. Yeah, like an easier level up uh, system because it, it definitely bugs me every time I level up, especially level one, two, three, and four, and so on, when they always do it in the same time. But later on in the game, you know, 10, 11, 12, whatever, then usually it might be a little bit different, uh, you know, when they actually level up. But uh, especially early game, very common. That, that, that I want more of this stuff, you know, those fixes. And they weren't like, the thing is that, let me say one thing here about it again. <laughs> Sorry, but really, I mean, I don't think that this UX stuff are that important, okay? They don't, they don't like breaking the game or anything. I don't, I don't think the UX stuff of Boss Gets Rebate the game is a great PMN way. But the thing is that why I hate it so much, I suppose, from like a working standpoint, rather than a gamer standpoint, from like a professional standpoint, is because these are low hanging fruits, right? You know? Usually, a lot of the UX issues in this game, and many games, to be fair, not in this game, uh, are very easy to fix. Like I said, this, this here to me is very obvious. This is how it should be, right? Uh, it's not so complicated, genius, high resource. No, it's like a very small fix, right? And I find this game, and again, a lot of games, have the same issues where you're like, well, I could really easily fix this thing. You know? I mean, like, yeah, like, a lot of low hanging fruits that improves um, the game like, slightly. I a lot of bugs with Casador. He's mentioned several times. He did bug out for me in one of my fights. I did record that when he was like just he was like blinking around and his his animation was crashing. So he seemed to be pretty buggy because I also experienced a lot of bugs with him. Um, that I've seen happen. Yeah, we miss certain breaks for you. Uh, your selected trade mode. Uh, oh, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, that's a smart low hanging fruit area. Uh, no, no. Oh, that's interesting. And you play uh, more, yeah, a little, little, little better system there when you play with your friends so you can listen to their uh, conversations. Um, yeah. Slightly, this is what I mean. This is a bunch of like low hanging fruits improvement, right? Mostly here for multiplayer. Like, oh, yeah, so you can know, you know, when you're a fan of trading. You can listen to your friends, like the story scenes or whatever. Um, stuff like that, right? Um, wait, fix some small holes. Oh yeah, that scene too. That, yeah, there were some holes that you couldn't go through at all, but no characters, regardless of your size one. Uh, audio. Oh yeah, some music wouldn't play. <laughs> Add some blood that follows. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Some, some minor fixes there, whatever. Some, some minor VVX fixes. And it's just a precious. Yeah, I mean, this should probably fix a lot of bugs, right? I'm not gonna look at that too much, but there's obviously a lot of bugs in the game. Like, it's like crash, this thing crashed, or whatever. Um, the thing is that, without going into more detail, right? Some of this stuff also might have improved Act 3, because it's like, oh yeah, this thing will crash sometimes. And, and also, Usually a crash means that the game turns off, right? But sometimes a crash, depending on your definition, a crash can also be that, well, this thing stopped working inside the game world, right? So for example, maybe the animation crashed. So the game is playing, but no one is moving uh, or whatever, right? So the depends on also what the minute crash, because it might be like, oh, we fixed this issue, so now the game runs smoother, right? Without, because that's one thing too, that probably a lot of times when a tree is bugging out, it doesn't actually turn off the game. It just, you know, keeps be, being more and more ostentatious issues, right? So, better PS5 and play that, but yeah. Uh, here we go, okay. What have they actually fixed? I think mean, it's a big thing, you know? This is a big thing, yeah? What have they actually fixed for the ostentation? Right? Yeah, because obviously the performance in Act 3 is pretty terrible. So, what is the improvement then? Okay, better quality mode. Uh, yeah, okay, before, like, push this better wave. Um... See, this I think is a huge improvement actually. The, um, this is called like clipping or that, oculation or that, right? So, a big issue probably in Act 3 is that there are too many NPCs, right? And they're all kind of acting. This thing changed here, she's big, because it's like if the NPC is further away from you, they basically are turned off, right? So, usually what you do to improve your game's performance is that while the objects, right? The NPCs that orbit in the code, while the object is alive already in the game world, it's not activated, right? So like the its dialogue is activated, its sounds activated, whatever. So basically, it's like a silent object that 
starting making noise and so on when you get close to it, right? So you have a kind of collision detection. That is not the same thing as collision, but collision as in like a, you know, like a, a invisible collision. Usually, basically, how you fix it. So what I'm guessing is that they have really, really, really lowered uh, when the NPCs, right, are doing stuff actually in Act Three. This is probably actually a huge thing. It's far away NPC stuff. It probably actually makes uh, Act Three perform way better. Um, and similar here, it's like dense crowds. Yeah, they like probably reduce number of NPCs, right? Maybe reduced the uniqueness. Because one thing could be that it's costing more performance if you have ten NPCs and they are moving around like randomly, right? So if you have ten NPCs and they are moving around like a, like a swarm or something, it costs less performance. So I don't know exactly what it did, but I'm guessing they changed a little bit the pattern of the NPCs as well, and also probably reduced the number of NPCs. Um, see more. Yeah, lowers its performance. Yeah, level up, mentioned earlier. Uh, yeah, improved lightning in both Act 2 and Act 3, right? And uh, a little bit of UI fixes. But I think, like I said, yeah, earlier a bit there. Like, it's like reducing like NPCs outside your scope, basically, and so on. That's like a classic optimization. And I can see why Act 3 is lagging then if they didn't do it before, if they hadn't done that. Because that is a typical thing you should do, right? But I guess they. They probably have that in Act 3, but I'm, I'm guessing they, they really, really, you know, lowered it. Right? Yeah, they probably massively improved that feature because I've, I've been a hard time seeing it not having it at all before. Uh, but they probably just, yeah, really po polished that. Uh, it's a big thing. Okay, what's if in combat then? Uh, this I've seen a lot actually. Yeah, the multi attack fades. <laughs> yeah, pro and so on. This I've seen with more than one of, with more than with the other enemies and monsters and just summoning, especially summonings. It's like weird multi attack bugs with the elementals. Um, yeah, that scene too. The Torm. Yeah, the, there's a bunch of issues I think with the Act 2 Torm bosses. Um, I wanted to fix Act 3 that the enemies have like ridiculous uh, angry meter sometimes that they can run through the whole city or something like that. Um, oh yeah, the force layer. I was doing the force yesterday. In my latest playthrough, let's see here. In the force layer of ball. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is mostly a nerf though. But yeah, this is not a bug fix. So, uh, oh yeah, it's in five though. In, in I think it's a fire edition anyway. So if you haven't gone through yet, the force layer is a very hard fight. Very hard. It's been hard, hard, hard part of the game. Basically, you enter this room, right? You have to defeat this guy called the force layer uh, in five turns, right? as everyone dies. And he keeps teleporting away. I just got to that fight yesterday in my latest playthrough. Uh, it's not the hardest fight in the game, but it's pretty hard. And because they also have a bunch of hidden guys attacking you. But it is not the hardest thing ever. But I think they've increased um, the turns there. But I'll play, of course, with Fission. So it's, it's, I think it's five anyway. <laughs> but I guess they're giving two more turns for Explorer and one more for Balance, I guess. <laughs> I guess there's a difference there. But, but yeah, it is, uh, I guess, the same thing on Tactician then. Uh... Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't see what issue is there. I think they have sh I don't think they made it easier on Tishan at all. I think it's the exact same thing. Man. I guess it's easier on Lori Fixes. Uh, but definitely one of the harder fights in the game. Oh, what's the next thing? Um, the ritual chant condition would remain. Oh, yeah, I see that. Yeah, yeah. Well, he, doesn't, he doesn't lose it, he dies. Um, But definitely, it's like a yeah, making the fight easier, uh, like you know, removing the slowest spell and so on. So this is not like a, I, I wouldn't call it a bug fix, but this is more like a balance fix. Yeah, he just says, but he says combat up. It is like a balance fix. Like oh, we made this boss fight way easier. You know, more turns, less slow spells and so on. Yeah, made it easier. But like I said, it is probably one of the hardest fights in the game. Very dependent on your team. In my latest playthrough. I use a wheel, shadow stepped, or miss, miss them, miss a step behind them, and I push them down. <laughs> you can't push down the force layer, but you can push down the other guys pretty easily. Um, the first three ambush guys, you can push them down with the Eldritch Blast easily if you first AOE them with another character. Um, <laughs> but they have, you know, but basically you have to think a little bit <laughs> for that fight at least. Uh, what's more? Uh, okay, I guess it's buff on Gortash there. Yeah, and buff on Castle will fight, I guess. Oh yeah, he because it's like a bunch of bats. But this doesn't really matter that much because the bats have like one health point. So I mean, when you're fighting. He's this is the vampire boss, right? 
when you fight the game, he summons a bunch of vamp uh, bats, like vampiric bats, but they have so little health points, like one AoE spell, like guard spell to kill them anyway. This probably doesn't do anything at all. I guess he's, he's gonna die now immediately. Uh, I don't think so, it is. Uh, uh, oh, that's like a big buff to Raphael though. He gets a multi attack twice per turn. Yeah, so Raphael is hard in Fission mode. Also one of the hardest fights in the game, uh, if, you, if you go against Raphael. Uh, oh, that's interesting. So I heard a lot of people complain that Johara dies so easily right in Act 2. So, yeah, they kind of lowered. So this is like, this is not a fix or a, what's it, like reducing her damage taken. This is more like the AI of the NPC, uh, the enemies, I mean, not her NPC. Uh, the AI of the enemies are less likely to target Johara. That's what this thing did here, code-wise, right there. Like she will still take the same damage, but she's just less likely to actually be targeted by the, by Kelp to and so on, I guess. That's kind of the change here. Whatever the orc woman's name is, probably a Gila point. Uh, it never happened to me, but I heard people say she dies very easily. Um, but you have to like, you can pick in your party, and it's like, yeah, I don't know. I just pick it to my party, usually, have her with me, so. Uh, but sure. Um... Yeah, Raph has to be buffed, right? Like he has a slow attack and so on as well. Uh, but he also gets a little bit nerfed there on spells. They also, yeah, Raph has to have a, a lot of buffs. Yeah, increased wisdom spells and so on. So Raph has sound, I would say it's a lot harder, but it sounds definitely harder. Um, I don't know the mass cells. It's an enemy right now. This is good. Okay, this is an improvement though. Yeah, yeah. So Night Song, when you summon her against Kelp Direct, she's now much more likely to yeah, actually attack him instead of running around attacking the you know, the scat or whatever. She will actually target the boss instead, which is much better. Um, oh, that's a good point. Yeah, she has a horse fed of wolf, she should be afraid of the wolf form. It's a good point. Uh, <laughs> see, Rafa has a lot of buffs. He's like the f Hellfire, no, yeah, this is. Yeah, yeah, hey, Rafa got so much buffs, man. Yeah, he has more Hellfire. Oh, he actually lasts shorter, though. Oh, okay. So, Hellfire does more damage, but it, it lasts only one turn, okay. But he does the attack, yeah, okay. So, it's a little bit, like, balancing. But he has high level, too. See, <laughs> everything with Rafa is like, oh, he's high level, too. It's the same level as Savrock, right? Yeah, level 16, I think. So, we can, uh, I guess, even them out, I guess. Holy shit, man. Rafa is getting so much buff, man. This is the patch of Raphael. It's like, this is more, okay, he's, he's summarizing this thing, man. This is summarizing, okay? So Raphael's Hellfire ignores fire since now, or at least pierce fire Raphael is higher level now. Raphael's higher wisdom stats now. Raphael has, like, a better, like, a normal tax now. He has class things. Raphael, Raphael has, uh, Raphael is getting everything. Um, Raphael got, like, six or seven buff, like, one or two small, small nerfs, and, like, six and buff, man. So, yeah, this is the patch of Raphael. Talking about <laughs> different characters, not on Raphael is the guy getting he's the winner in his patch, man. He just gets so much stuff in his patch. I think I've seen his name like eight times now. <laughs> like six buffs to Raphael and one uh, and one obvious nerf though, but that isn't a big nerf because it's like well it does more damage instead, but lasts shorter. So it's like, it's like it's, yeah, it's definitely better for him. Because if you have an AoE attack right, or whatever that lasts as one turn less, but like it does double damage, it's just much more spike damage, it's better for the boss right, so Basically, also improvement for him. Um, I mean, it's the path of Raphael, so seriously. Um, okay, where were we? Oh, Ketterix immune to the, yeah, that is good because he's basically an undead kind of right there. Also, Necromancer immune to the poison, so that makes sense. Um, <laughs> okay, go up there, so let me buff to him. Haven't seen anything with Urin yet, no, I haven't mentioned her yet. Oh, Owl Bear. The buff bear. Uh, a lot of a lot of changes this this yeah. Oh Meduke could go buffed. Uh, slightly. This act two boss. Hmm. Here we go. Oh, the gameplay. What's here then? Loading up a saved. Uh, 
Okay. It's a bit weird. This was an earlier area. Yeah. So that's the level up is much smoother now. Yeah, but it's the same thing they mentioned earlier. It is the same thing. I'm not worried for basically. Um, there are bug fixes here. Da, da, da. Fix the map markers. There must be bug fixes. Poison. Yeah. There's a lot of bugs. There's a lot of bugs. There's a lot of gameplay bugs. Oh my god. But this is a lot. Okay, whatever. There's a lot of bugs. Oh my god, there's so many bug fixes here. Okay, this patch is pretty, yeah, pretty hardcore, but this is bug fixes. You know, this thing now does not even have, this is like whatever, yeah, this NPC just buy. This also, of course, generally speaking, makes Act 3 and also Act 1 and 2 obviously perform better, but especially Act 3 then, right? Because it's like, you know, issues with those uh, metal things in Act 3, fixing that spell and so on, yeah, a lot of uh, these VFX now lags less or whatever, right? So, uh, but let's just go over them all. <laughs> this is like 50, 60 bug fixes here. Uh, it just keeps going, <laughs> yeah, it just keeps going, whatever, there was a lot of bug fixes, um, that's probably good, um, but whatever, doesn't really, it's just, I'm assuming it's better, yeah, like, it's, the game plays better, right? Um, There's, like, scripting bugs, I guess. But it's but not scripting, might be like the AI behavior, so it might be interesting to look at. Um, it's actually, like, us to do one, and do have a better, you know, uh, discussion, so on. Fix the save game. Yeah, this is this is a bug I heard about, and I see people say that too. That people talk about Sevlor a lot. Yeah, that Sevlor, even if he dies or if he betrays you or betrays you, but uh, you know you can save Sevlor or not, right? And I've seen that too. With Sevlor, when he spawns in Act Two, he acts like, "Oh, don't you hate me?" And so I don't even know. I didn't know you were here. Yeah, <laughs> it's like I never even talked to the other guys. Yeah, like they, he acts like he knows that you're supposed to hate him or something. I'm like I don't, I don't know why, why that. So. Seven door is kind of weird. I think it's a lot of bugs around his AI, or the flow shot or whatever about him, uh, and um, uh, he's also bugged when you f uh, when you fight him. Not fight him, but when you when you save him several times, he's permanent. I had to replay that like three times in my second playthrough because he, he kept like being my enemy permanently, even if I killed the mind flayers. It was very very strange. So he's I think seven door is quite buggy. I think because of his AI. Um, well, hopefully it's fixed and all of the bugs, I suppose. Hmm. And most of the bug fixes. Yeah, where is it back to what I mentioned earlier? The daemon is kind of buggy too with the last light and so on. Oh yeah, that scene, that she doesn't heal night song, yeah. She also heals now. Yeah. That makes sense. Carl X now isn't angry at Will if he breaks the pact. That makes sense. <laughs> you can no longer tell the hag I killed you if you didn't kill her. <laughs> That's a nice fix, yeah. It was strange if you killed the hag. It's like, I killed you <laughs> if you didn't kill her. <laughs> it was like, no, I was just nice to her. It's like, yeah, that, that was kind of strange that you could like, ha Like, what? No, wait, you're back? Yeah, it's like, that didn't make any sense in that act. Um, oh, I love this, guys. I love this a lot, right? So if you see my other videos, my review video of Walking 3, I thought about how Gale is so thirsty, right? Yeah. Uh, this to me makes a lot of sense, and hopefully, this more than the game. You probably seen the any percent thing, right? I think Gale, especially Gale, in my opinion, is just really weirdly into you. Uh, and I hated that because in my first playthrough, I was playing evil, right? And I was kind of like. I'm not gonna feed you. I'm not gonna get mad at them. So, you know, I, I was, I was being, I was like dismissing Gale all the time, and yet Gale was like, "Oh, let's do it, let's do it." I was like, well, "What? Why? <laughs> get away from me, Gale!" Yeah, I was like, "What's wrong with this guy?" Uh, so now they have increased his, uh, yeah, threshold to be, to be in love with you. I, I, I like that. Yeah, he seems to be a little more harder. I hope they fix that. It's maybe it's more the character too, but it didn't make any sense really how Gale was just like, even if you were reacting him. So he wanted you. <laughs> he still wanted you. Yeah, it was kind of strange. It was strange. Um, yeah, that was weird. Uh, exactly. Fixing Gale, playing it twice and so on. Um, okay, here we go. Act 1, 2, 3, I guess. Mostly Act 3 is what's important, right? But I guess we can just generally look at Act 1 a little bit as well. 
Uh, okay, I can bug in with owl beer and so on. I don't care too much here for some bug fixes. I mean, as to, as we know, Act One runs way better. But also, you have to remember that Act One is the one that was in the beta, right? So there also fewer stuff there. But it makes sense that Act One runs better than Act Three. I mean, obviously, from a development standpoint. Uh, yeah, some minor bug fixes. Um. Some kind of clone abuse. Hmm. This sounds good because I have seen the tail scene. The first time I did that with Hail scene, uh, that bite me really weird. Like I, I clearly saved him and like the the ghosts were destroyed. Yet he's. Yeah, but I, I I think I read about people having I mean, you see, like Hales is like runs away or something, or he like walks out the portal and into like something and dies outside the fight or something. It's something weird. That, so I don't know exactly what they mean to have proper fix that, but it's like that that was that's a weird fight. It's when Hales has to enter the portal, right? To pick up the uh, the boy, kind of the the, the the like the, the tree guy, you know, whatever. Yeah, the tree spirit is yeah, and picks him up and. That seems to be quite buggy, so I had to redo that. It wasn't like a hard fight, I had to, you know, I had to read because it was buggy. Yeah, it went out, I was like, what, what happened? Yeah, it disappeared. It was very strange, so hopefully that I got fixed with that. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to happen to me. <laughs> okay, so you don't get this stuck in your heart, yeah? Yeah, uh, it's a lot of bugs there with Isabel and Johara, like if you're dead, not dead, and so on, so yeah. I can see, okay, let's kick on. Act 3, okay! What is already the for Act 3? It's gonna be a lot of bugs here, probably. First time I see Ori being mentioned. Yeah, because they, they buffed the other ones, Gortex was buffed and so on, right? And Raph got a lot of buffs, but Ori didn't get a lot of buffs at all. No, Ori was like, whatever, yeah, they get a lot of buffs too. Uh, uh, <laughs> but no, Ori barely mentioned. Um, yeah, that's the uh, hag. The hag was clearly bugged in Act 3 then. I didn't know anything about that, but... Yeah, she was, but she was clearly bugged then. She had several bugs, okay. Uh, okay, it's a bunch of tweaks. Yeah, the bug, the, the hag seems kind of buggy, it's two more hag bugs, like, yeah, they didn't know that, the, yeah, like Finn the hag was a very buggy character, like the fifth bug on her now. Um, this is also probably something that can definitely improve Act 3, so another issue right with Act 3 is probably the load of all the assets, so for example that if you do this quest or whatever, right, this, uh, uh, what's called, the water queen, you know, the, the mermaids, the, uh, whatever, the, the water worshipping girls, there we are, right, you know. Um, so apparently their bodies would still appear there, even if they were alive or dead or whatever, right? And stuff like that, yeah. So they also can definitely probably improve A3 by just removing a lot of the assets that would have to be there, you know? It's like, but these characters are actually dead now, just remove the bodies, you know? Or uh, maybe they spawn in the water or whatever, yeah. So probably a lot of, like, dead weight they have removed, right? That, you know, obviously makes it run smoother and less, less assets. So that's probably a thing. The hag seems to be really buggy. <laughs> it's the fifth time I see the hag. You also can't betray her. Oh, okay, okay, whatever. Okay, the hag is like a really buggy entry apparently. Um, yeah. Okay, some random Raphael bugs. I'm having that. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. I'm looking mostly for performance bugs, I guess now. Or in <laughs> oh, O-ring are Paris in her back. <laughs> I haven't seen that bug! Why have I missed that bug for? Orin are pierced in her, you know, family friendly outfit if you, uh, what's it? How do you trigger the bug? If you load a save game and the save was made during... Okay, so I guess, I guess because Orin, spoilers right, takes one of your characters and I guess if you saved during that cutscene, that's probably happened right? Like you saved during the cutscene or just something happens or 
Yeah, or maybe they mean after she taken the one of you. But somewhere, I guess, somewhere she takes a character. Might, but, but it sounds like it's a cutscene where she appears after she kidnaps someone, right? So that's probably it, because as she transforms into, she's like, oh, I am, you know, last year, that she becomes Ored, right? And I guess she didn't have any, you know, she lost her stuff, I guess, and she turned into herself after last year. That's probably what they mean, if you saved in the wrong location there. Yeah, she would just appear as, you know, pure Orin. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting bike, never seen that. Um, but sure. Yeah, last year, of course, should not like the Orpheus thing, makes sense. Um, yeah, that's true. We shouldn't, unfortunately, uh, see not with Gore Fetch. Hmm. Perhaps just an item. Yeah, exactly. But she shouldn't be able to. Okay, so this is the fight when you um, you, know, you summon alien or night song then, I guess the mage, right? And yeah, she has like in she has like infinite revive rights. She's like an alien thing, so yeah, immortal. But I guess she could die there, but yeah, she shouldn't be able to die in that fight, right? Because you know, she needs to revive herself. And uh, that being said you can betray her and kill her, I guess, but you know, if you on her side, that shouldn't happen. Uh do, do, do. Yeah, almost a lot of bugs in Act 3. <laughs> I love this bike. Yeah, if you don't have Minsk, you know, you're hardly angry at you. Yeah, it's like, that was bad, yeah. <laughs> that, that bug, okay, yeah. Okay, I like that. Uh, cute bug. A journal? Oh, it's just like a quest, I guess. Quest UI? Oh, it's like some bugs, I guess, you couldn't fix. Maybe the quest couldn't be completed. But it is true that there's a lot of bugs there, honestly. I haven't really cared about that when I've played the game, but yeah, there's certainly some urinal text that are kind of weird, like this has updated correctly, or there are some quests that you never finish, right? Uh, definitely. But that being said, though, I don't think this journal bit is a big deal if it's buggy, because I mean, certainly it is, you know, better, better fix it, but I mean, because the game doesn't like give you rewards in its UI of the journal system. I mean, some games, right, they actually give you the reward. If you press the journal, they will give you a gold and items on it. Yeah, you get the, the item inside the UI, so to speak. But the game doesn't do it, right? So in this game, it's like, if the journal updates correctly or not. I mean, obviously, it's bad if it does correctly. But if it's like, you know, if the hail scene, the rescue hail scene text is like wrong or something, it doesn't really you know, change the gameplay that much. You know? It's like, yeah, it's just like a, you know, oh, it's a buggy string, basically. Yeah, the string should be improved, right? But it, because there's no actual reward or something in that system there, uh, it basically is text, right? So, uh, whatever. I just hate the thing then. Seems to be that fixed a lot of, yeah, it's like a lot of string bugs, basically, right? Well, actually, it's a lot of them, apparently. <laughs> but whatever, they're all basically just text, right? I think. I think so. Uh, yeah, it's actually some quest text, right? So whatever. It's a bunch of the UI text fixes. Um, but this is kind of the same thing, you know, UI fixes. This tooltip is wrong, this text is wrong, yeah, like whatever, this text is wrong. Um, but there might be some bigger stuff here, though, if you go into it in detail, but, you know, maybe some icons are wrong or something, but... Fix an icon... Oh, but these are both, these are mostly classic UI bugs in gaming, you know, like this this icon has the wrong text, right? This tooltip was wrong or something, or this icon had the wrong color, something, yeah, come on. Uh, yeah, this, this uh, you know, whatever, furniture should have that icon at the different table or yeah, whatever. Here we go. Did I mention a bit? Fix level up. Okay, improved catchation. Yeah, fix name. Um, my guess is that they probably, so they probably generally has improved character creation right, to some extent. Because they obviously add in the mirror bit a bit earlier that you can you know change your appearance whenever you want in the camp so they also probably fix some bugs you know fix some maybe added some hairstyle maybe added some you know the, you know the I don't know saturation of your hue or something yeah they probably add a little bit of your you know you can have this perplexion or whatever right so they probably then threw in some slight fixes there in your freckles or whatever yeah so probably some other stuff while they work in that mirror sort um, I would guess so 
Uh, controller. Probably for. I haven't played with. I also with my mouse guys. I don't know. <laughs> I, I only play with my mouse, man. Uh, mouse and keyboard guys. I don't play with some controller. Nor again console guys. And this is just a bunch of animation fixes. This is purely just visual stuff. Which, you know, as a game developer, I don't care. <laughs> no, no, but as, as I said, more the video. As a gameplay guy, I'm like. <laughs> as a gameplay, I'm like, what? Animation? Okay, let's go on. <laughs> yeah, who cares about that? And this is probably just a modern, you know, rewriting some stuff that didn't make any sense, maybe. But I think they really mentioned a lot of that because now they're calling it writing up here, but they really mentioned a lot of stuff like, oh, Will isn't, you know, too thirsty now. LaSalle won't say this thing if you hadn't said that thing, you know. Shadow Heart won't betray you, or her line, like, she won't tell you she's betraying you, even if she isn't or whatever. So I don't know if the writing has improved that much. I think it's probably more how the AI kind of gets to the different locations, you know, in its path, right, in its steps machine. Um, probably. Uh, but this isn't writing, right? Improved, a necessary drop in Gale. How's that writing? I thought nitpick, but honestly, this isn't writing. Right? This is like a bug or something. Like, if it's improved that Gale doesn't dislike you as much, uh, based on this thing, that's not the right thing, that's like a bug. Um, really? What, what do you mean? They, they balanced it? I don't know, it feels kind of weird. Yeah, mostly sounds like bug here too, which is like, oh, we fixed the tooltip. Okay, let's go on, I don't care about this thing, man. Okay, level design might be interesting. It can be a lot of interesting bugs here, I guess. Also, it could be in Act 3, right? Um... Some gasp, yeah. Oh, this would be interesting, like enlarged uh, <laughs> holes and so on. Yeah, <laughs> made a hole bigger, easier to jump down in that hole and so on. Yeah, that chest was big enough. Um, yeah, easier to traverse that. Uh, I feel like they made a lot of bigger. Yeah, speaking, so the level design has it made. See, it says mostly that they're physical holes and, and ledges, like, oh, you can walk there now. Yeah, like, it sounds like they mostly are, like, you know, more spacious. Oh, you can actually go there, or you won't fall down there, or whatever. Uh, or easier to jump in the hole if you want to, so on. Uh, what I see, at least. Um, this seems super interesting. Got something wrong. Maybe I missed something, but I don't know. Uh, some more loot. Okay, yeah, so okay, there's some balance here, too, then. Okay, there was some balance, too. They're improving the loot, okay. First, I was gonna. Okay, and one thing as a critique here for them, though, as a, as a company, honestly, is that I would definitely prefer if you hadn't mixed two these things right. Because in the beginning here of, of level design, it was mostly bugs, right? Okay, we fixed this thing, or we improved the size of like this hole so you can get out of it. It was too tiny, so you should be able to jump down easier now, you know what I mean? Uh, but then in the end here, it's like. We have improved this loot, right? Okay, this dungeon now is like double the loot or whatever. That to me is very different, right? The second thing is much more like a balancing, right? Like you go to this dungeon, you make the thing happen. How much XP do you get? Well, okay, the bosses, okay, blah, 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 okay, one level, okay. How much weapon do you get? Well, you know, blah, 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 this weapon, yeah. That thing is more like a balance, you know, game design, level design features, right? The first thing is more like, well, this hole is too tiny. <laughs> That's a bug, yeah, it should be bigger. That, that sounds more like a bug, right? So I feel they're mixing a little bit of like balance design with you know bug fixes, right? So I, I would separate them to different things, right? And art, I don't care, I care about art. And we're at the end soon, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> now it's feel okay. Whatever, lighting, audio. There's probably a lot of bugs there. Yeah, whatever. They, this I don't care too much. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. I don't care too much about this stuff. I mean, obviously it's an improvement, but I mean, I'm, I don't, I don't think it's interesting to read it. Okay. Let me just briefly explain what I mean, right? I think it's interesting to read patch notes, especially like this massive patch notes, and read about, okay, Raphael, man, Raphael, he's getting like eight, nine buffs, you know, yeah. That's interesting, right? But reading like, we have fixed Raphael's hair, that it's slightly better burning now, you know what I mean? That to me is like, I don't read, I really don't care. <laughs> like, honestly, I don't care. Not that shit in every, all the VVX, but come on. Like, it, yeah, okay, the game looks better, obviously, but it's not like, you know, it's not really gonna change the gameplay. And what can I say here, right? As in this video, I was like, yeah, bad, good, I guess. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, I guess they improve that. Um, I think rather, which they do mention, of course, it's put out. Uh, I think more importantly, is it's probably better optimized, right? As they mentioned several times, 
it's like, oh, these assets are now removed correctly, right? That thing is much more important. Instead of like fixing the current asset that you have in the game, oh, I fixed, you know, last year's, uh, you know, her hair, yeah. It's more important to be like, no, I went to Act 3 and I removed these 50 NPCs that are outside the screen. They're actually properly removed now in the animation, so it, you know, it decreases performance, uh, you know, the threshold required massively. That's a better, you know, use of your time as a animator guy, right, you know, doing in my opinion, especially in this game. <laughs> but you get my point, I think that those buffs, or sorry, those path changes are much more important than the path changes like Orin looks prettier now, versus Orin fight now has a better performance rate. And of course, it depends on where you are, right? If Orin looked like apps, if Orin was just like a you know a red square, <laughs> right? Then it's a big difference going from red square into a model, right? But now Orin looks pretty fine, and it's more like if you know Act Three is laggy, so it's more like we we fixed the lag versus we made her look prettier. Come on, like you get my point. It's a clearly this the <laughs> performance better is better. Uh, so yeah, I don't really care about this stuff. There are some cinematics that definitely are skipped for some random reason, so they probably fixed that stuff, I feel. Because there are a lot of cinematics that just kind of doesn't play sometimes in the game. Um, yeah, like last year, missing that, you know. Um, there's probably stuff like that, like they fixed this thing. This thing is not correctly, yeah, a lot of clipping, this thing is now so. But I feel it's like the same thing over and over again. Oh, we fixed that issue there. There was that that thing didn't play. That thing was clipping. It was an overlap if you need some meshes, whatever. It's probably the same thing ten times. Then. I mean, ten. It, what I mean is that it's probably the same bug, basically, like fifty times, right? At fifty different places, more or less. You get my point. Um, I think so. Uh, a lot of these buffs. <laughs> yeah, but it's like every goddamn every. Okay, that's the end, guys. Okay, so let's summarize it to bore you too much, right? Um, Good patch updates. The what I lack though from low hanging fruit is the party right there. Yeah. So it, because they clearly improved a lot of um, UI stuff, right? I mean, I get excited with the whole level design thing. Oh, sorry, splitted. I get excited from the whole um, easier leveling up. Uh, the whole you know, oh, I can now level up all cats at the same time, right? A lot of effort there. Uh, I, I like that stuff, you know. They improved that thing in the camp and so on. I like that they added, of course, and you can now change your appearance and so on. So a lot of like, okay, the game kind of flows better now in the in the camp mostly. So what I do like though, as I mentioned earlier, is of course that the camp should have an easier party selection system, right? We can easily change character, easily re-equip them and so on. That's something I really miss in this game, right? I find it very annoying every time when I change a character in my party. If it has two characters, it takes forever, right? It's like, it's like several minutes. To change like two characters, and that that also I think should have been fixed with the same issues they fixed now with like the, the the mirror and the lamp and that's in that kind of category there. So that's probably my biggest uh, complaint I would say that because yeah, I feel it's really the same category. Now the good stuff, okay? They clearly improved the Act Three, a lot of performance fixes did anything, right? Uh, as first of all, I think the biggest things I mentioned earlier is how they have reduced this whole far away plane thing, right? So you should summarize the words again, basically, right? If I take my Anjashan here, and I have my Kanashan, right? So if you if you if Anja is our player, uh, and we're in there here, right? Now Kanna is moving around, she's active, right? You know, it's costing us on CPU. But now if Kanna sits stands still here, and Anja moves away, so we're Anja, we're going over here, right? We're standing here. Now Kanna stands still, right? This now costs us less CPU, or GPU, or whatever, whatever you're driving, you know, right? This now is better, right? What the game does before this pad is that if you are studying here, she's moving in anyway, right? But she should only move around like this when you're over here, right? So that is a massive concern in Boss Gate 3, of course, in Act 3, that basically all these NPCs are doing this thing all the time, no matter where Anya is standing, right? All the Kanas are running around all the time. They should all be standing still, basically, when Kanna or Anya aren't close to each other. So that, I think, is a massive improvement here of Act 3 that most of the NPCs are actually just gonna be static or basically their orbit of cold wipe, their orbit, right? Uh, imagine that, I don't wanna remove feet, but imagine that this is just, you know, okay, this is right, this is really about it. <laughs> Forget about it, it's just stuck your feet or whatever. The point, okay, okay, okay. this is the orbit, okay? So this is the orbit, right? So instead of having Anya being fully animated, it's just a white box, basically. Right? 
Then we use close to Anya. Now she pops up, you know, as a full box. Then it's been removed, and you know, so this is an object pointer basically, right? Uh, but apparently, before this patch, it's always Anya, right? That's gonna cost the game a lot. That being said, I don't think it actually is like that. I think it's just that, but you know, less optimized, right? Because if you have that every asset character would constantly be fully animated, voice and everything all the time, the game probably lag even more, like massively lag probably more. So I'm guessing they have something like that, as I explained, right? These, you know, at a too much of a broader scale, not very optimized because you could have different algorithms. So example, you can, you can look at like where the player is, you know, viewing the camera angle of the thing and is, uh, is an object, for example, an, an obvious thing is that, you know, if, um, if an NPC, right, is walking behind a tree, you know, then it can turn into this thing again, right, you know. So if Anya walks, right, a tree appears, and then she becomes this thing. And then she becomes Anya again, on that side of the tree. So it goes like this, That's going to cost you less, you know, CPU, so, right. But most games, it's just, you know, Anya moving like that. They don't actually remove Anya's, you know, and replace it. And that's cost, that's like a smart algorithm, you know, to kind of calculate, you know. Uh, because, for example, if the player is standing next to her, it should always be Anya, right? But if the player is standing on the other side of the tree, it, shouldn't, it should be removed. So that takes a lot of, like, you know, smart algorithms to fix it, figure it out, basically. It's just super complicated, but, you know, you have to have some little bit smart, uh, smart system there, right? So that's probably, I think, what they add a lot, those algorithms that are probably calculating better. Uh, because, again, I think it's very unlikely they had nothing of this before because then the game would be even worse <laughs> like really really bad basically pokemon right <laughs> yeah. if you want to look at the game that has this at, at nothing of that it's basically pokemon sword and shield no, yeah not not scarlet and white no, sword and shield okay that's why sword and shield is so in and out popping right basically you're walking around in that pokemon game the first switch game right and suddenly pokemon is like here in your face that's because the game never turns them off and that's the reason why the open world in both of the games, Squad of Valley 2, but also Sword and Shield, are so sparse, right? Because the game has terrible optimization that if they actually had every Pokemon always being active, they switch from crash immediately, right? But you should have better algorithms so you just have the op options move around, you know? But clearly, uh, ga Game Freak is notoriously like the worst developer in the industry, right? Such as Man Attack. And they really are, from an engine, they're terrible engineers, right? Insane terrible. That's not a video, which I already made. <laughs> it's not a video I already made, but yeah, it's notoriously. Uh, but basically, like, I, like it's a good example here. Today at work, uh, I, I, I can't say it, but I discussed a lot of uh, AI patterns, you know, with a colleague. We discussed different how to do the AI and how to optimize the behavior and this and this and that and so on, right? So we, we improved that stuff, right? And I'm, I'm just imagining Game Freak doesn't even understand the word optimization. <laughs> but I don't know. But it's like the way I was making my uh, behavior and stuff today, I was like, oh, this thing goes faster, but it's easy to do or whatever. You know what I mean? And, and then, so usually what I do, right? For example, is that today I developed this, uh, you know, let's just call it a script. And then I was like, okay, this works, you know, okay. So I left today, right? You know, uh, left Friday, right? Left the office. And it's like, it works, everything works, you know, it's fine. But I know in my head that I'm at the stage at this pattern that it works, but it can be improved on Monday, you know what I mean? So I'm just like, okay, this is like phase one, iteration one, you know, it's like this actually is like shippable, it works, right? Now, tomorrow, or rather the next work on Monday, if I work on that thing, I'm gonna improve it, right? So it goes faster, because I kind of implemented some stuff that I've had to like, I don't want to, I swear, you know, because we have one thing, well, I don't, I, I can't say exactly what I'm doing, right, but I'm, you get a point, I'm like, I'm, my goal isn't to optimize it, my goal is to, like, just make it work, first and foremost, right, and then it's like, okay, how do I make it better, you know, I mean, that, that's kind of my amazing <laughs> talk here, but we're kind of just in, in, in space here, but you get a point, like, okay, that's, yeah, first it's like, work, make it work, then it's like, how do I make it work better, right? But I feel the Game Freak is like, okay, how do I make it work? And then I just leave it. <laughs> yeah, I feel Game Freak is like, it works somehow magically. Let's run away from it. Yeah, I feel there is like, we finally made it work. And then it ship, ship, ship it. <laughs> That's how I feel they are. It's like, I mean, genuinely, I've never seen them do anything ever I feel improved at all. Um, I don't want to derail too much, but I my point is that I don't think that Larian... Um, 
are on that level, right? Where they are stuck on level one and never improve. That being said, though, I think when you read the patch notes here, clearly Act 3 is a little bit like that, though, right? Not in the game freak level of it, it's like level one and then ship it, but maybe it's like level five, right? And they have like five iterations, but they should have like 15 iterations, right? Actually. And they maybe say, ah, oh, it's good, good enough, okay? Now, now it runs when, way better than it did half a year ago. Let, you know, let, let's do with it. That's how I feel, right? So it's, it's a lot of that stuff. Especially that thing when you talk about like the assets of the bodies or whatever still being alive or something. Uh, that's like a weird thing. So of course you should flush that and remove that. Like, that's just, that's just a cost something. For example, <laughs> again, Game Freak's terrible at that. Game Freak is notorious. They have 700 lilies in the golden sun and moon. But all, uh, sorry, but it's just like ultimate example of terrible engineering, right? So in, in, in uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon, every time uh, Lily comes into the game, it spawns a new asset file, right? Instead of making a reference to the first 700 times, so you can use the same file 700 times then, right? Uh, game Freak makes 700 Lilies, so in the <laughs> in the stack in the game, it's like 700 uh, like arrays or something. Uh, I don't know. It's like, I guess yeah, it is uh, rows of lilies. So having one row of one lily that is re referred to. They have 700 of lily, and that obviously means that you know, just the lily character is obviously 700 times more costsome for the game to run. You know, it is so st <laughs> it's so bad, and the same is for every other character too. But lily is the one that has the most. Then has 720 something. Like that. Google it. It's, it's, it's hilarious. It's just a it's just a terrible. It's like, you know, oh god, I said it last day, guys. Please subscribe, please like button. I said it last day about station, okay? The little thing is kind of like, imagine, right, that you are gonna take the car to work here, you know? And instead of, obviously, then, you know, using the same car twice, right? You buy a new car the next day and take a new car to work. That's kind of what you're doing, guys. Yeah? Like, you can use the same car. No, we have to make a new car. And then also, again, it's the same corporate the car. So you don't buy like a Lamborghini. Than a Ferrari, no, you're buying the exact same Volvo over and over again, but I mean, it's a new Volvo, but it's the same model. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, why? It's just the same model, yeah. That's how it is, too. It would be more reasonable if it was like, you know, uh, you know, day one, Volvo, day two, you know, a Lamborghini, day three, a Ferrari, yeah. No, 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 it's like Volvo, 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 yeah, they're not even making a new one. Eventually, they do have another Lily, so it's like 50 of, like, another Lily figure, but yeah. <laughs> but they make the exact same over and over again, right? And it doesn't make its hands. It's like having a hammer, right? And every time you're gonna hit a nail, you get, you get a new hammer. So using the same hammer twice, you get the exact same model of a hammer. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. It is so bad, okay? It's I, I, I can never stop laughing at how incredibly bad Pokemon is from, um, you know, engineers standpoint. And lastly, I still like the game, okay? I still like playing Pokemon, right? I like the game, but it is truly handed over. Okay, the basically the derailing point here, but you get my point, though, right? Uh, stuff like that, of course, improves uh, this game right now. Now, of course, again, this game certainly wasn't on the level of Pokemon, but, you know, it's a little bit in that tree, like I mentioned. I mean, like, ah, okay, but that thing clearly could have been better improved. Uh, something similar, right? As I mentioned, acid thing. Uh, what's more, the effects that are staying probably right? And okay, why is this effect staying so long? It could probably be removed, right? So it doesn't run that much. Uh, stuff like that is weird in the memory in this game, clearly. And I think it's uh, very clear how the game has not really a good proper system to kind of remove objects that shouldn't be active anymore. Both with the whole, you know, distance thing, but also like maybe a spell that it, it's a, so basically, if I throw like a firewall, right, you know, you see the effects or whatever, uh, but then, but just because you don't see the effect anymore, doesn't mean that it's properly cleaned out. So you can have it invisible, right? So it doesn't do any damage, but the orbit's still there and so on. Stuff like that, if I kind of pick up reading these notes here, that they have removed more of that stuff. So that doesn't cost you that much, of course, on your graphic or whatever, or whatever your processor, but it costs you maybe like 1%. So it's like a lot of that stuff being removed too. Like proper cleaning, I guess you call it, or flushing or whatever, it's also gonna improve Act 3. So I think the Act 3 is gonna run a lot smoother now, not only because they optimized Act 3 by itself, but also because they have, you know, fixed a lot of bug issues with like spells and, and you know, other abilities. They kind of leave stuff, or, uh, or it's more, yeah, or you know, if a character dies, right, they actually properly removed from the game and so on. Yeah, like those stuff are 
are also gonna make everything run better. It also, of course, makes Act One and Two also run better, right? Because you know, you remove character outside the game and so on. Uh, but what do you guys think? I mean, we excited. The mirror thing is a nice feature, right? But yeah, I'm definitely gonna go in now after this and play Act Three again. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna like, you know, lo load like some of my older game files. Um, with my current run, I mean Act uh, One, <laughs> but uh, oh yeah, uh, one, uh, okay. So <laughs> I see, I, I jump back and forth. Okay, that's how I am. I have one run, as I mentioned. I just got to that shadow, um, the 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 ball mind fly. What, what's it called? Oh, whatever. The guy with the spells. Remember that now. The guy with the five turn, then you lose a guy. Uh, I'm there with one playthrough, and my older playthrough I'm playing, I'm in like the end of Act One. So you know, I'm that kind of guy. I, I like to have like two different acts, you know, that I play back. One, two, yeah, kind of like when I get into Act Three, I kind of start playing a new. <laughs> See? It's so laggy. So when I get to Act Three, I start playing a new character. Ah, it's time to make a rogue now. Time to make a ranger now. <laughs> Just, ah, I don't really want to play Act Three. Okay. Uh, anyway, hope I see you guys. Subscribe to the channel. I have a great day.